Hey y'all, it's Tanya Cummings. I'm coming to you today with, get it, my cooking show, Mom and Tanya's Cooking. Um, today, I'm going to be making my famous, quote unquote, mine, pumpkin muffins. I got this recipe from uh, Skinny Mom's Kitchen, and it's the healthier version. Today, I don't have whole wheat flour. That's normally what I cook with, is whole wheat flour. And I'm going to give you the recipe and the link, you know, on my page to this wonderful recipe. I want, so I'm going to share with you as I'm cooking what it is. And so, this is two cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of regular flour. I normally just do three cups of whole wheat flour. Today I'm going to use the one cup and use three cups of wheat, uh, white flour since that's what I've got here. And most of you will know that white flour isn't good for you. It's alright to use in modification. Mod 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 well, moderation, not modification. <laughs> In moderation. Uh, back a couple of years now, my my family and I switched from white flour, white pasta to whole wheat. It's much better for you. And then I'm going to use one teaspoon of baking soda. You're doubling the batch, which I normally do since. There's a big family here. I would use two, but right now I'm using one. Making a single batch. And next is baking powder. We want two teaspoons of baking powder. It calls for cinnamon and nutmeg, but I do not use them. I find it tastes better without them. So I'm going to skip on down to pumpkin. I buy it in a can, one can of it for a single batch, two cans for a double, or you can get the big one for the double batch. And I forgot my charge, my can opener. Can at a place called UGO. It's a discount food place. Which is fine. It doesn't even it doesn't go bad because it's in a can, and I find all canned foods don't really go bad. I have not figured out how to use real pumpkin in a in the pumpkin muffins, but I use. This recipe for muffins, for bread. Um, I use little bite sized muffins for the kids since they love to eat all my muffins and it goes by faster. This is not working well. I'm using a bigger spoon. <laughs> and I love them. These muffins are just delicious. <laughs> it's become my favorite track, uh, snack, even in the, not just in the fall, in the fall year. Alright, then it calls for four eggs. Which, four eggs sounds like a lot. And when you go to do a double batch or a triple batch, it just feels like you're using the whole thing. But, When you stock up on eggs, lose, especially when you're baking a lot, then it will be, it's good. You won't have to worry about, oh my, I have to get another carton of eggs, because you use it all for nothing. No ma'am. Yeah, you could. And then it calls for one cup of brown sugar. Like I said, I, I don't like recipes with white sugar. I don't use white sugar other than for a Kool-Aid for the kids. But, um, 
on most recipes, I own, I do not use regular sugar. To me, it's refried, refined sugar and not good. And then a couple of two tablespoons of maple. I thought this was weird between maple syrup or I don't know, pet eating you know, just regular syrup in the nut recipe, but it tastes really good. But if you don't put any in there, it's weird. It just doesn't, just doesn't taste good. It looks like I mixed it really good. Normally, I'm not, like, when I double batch it, it doesn't turn out as good as, or smooth. I'm not sure why. Maybe because I didn't put in the exact amount of everything, but this time it turned out really good. I'm impressed. <laughs> Alright. Now, I need to take out my little pan. I think I have, I have the little pans. And these are good for when you have kids. They're just bite size because you know they love to um, they love to just sneak in the kitchen and get them. And I hate that. But it looks like the washing machine, dishwasher, which is me earlier, we uh, didn't get all the stuff out, so I'm using a little muffin pans. I never thought I would use these little little ones. And then my mom gave me a pan, and I love it. <laughs> I think it is the best investment for a family. But this is, it is hard to clean my pans though if you don't have the little muffins because it's hard to get your fingers in there, the muffins are small. <laughs> Scooping and putting in our little, if you can see, there's a nice little dog, and our little muffin pans. I am really impressed on how well this mix turned out. <laughs> These are perfect little snacks, and I use them for breakfast. Um, I love having pumpkin muffins for breakfast, a little bit of butter, and um, and I'll have to show you the finished product because they're so cute. <laughs> cute little muffins for a little kid. I give them a, a, when preschool would have their little snacks for the day. Then I will do that too. It's surprisingly quiet in my house right now, which is weird. Normally the house is very, very active. <laughs> Four kids, me and my husband, dog, <laughs> lots of kids. <laughs> So they're always coming in and wanting a snack. Even daddy. Daddy loves his muffin and he will eat out. <laughs> and if they are Daddy likes to have his little Debbie snacks and stuff like that. Mama doesn't like those things. But, um, 
I always make the homemade snacks for myself and the kids. And when they're made, he loves them. <laughs> if I could keep up on them, I would do that. And no, they're not. They're muffins. If I could keep up on them, I'd have them all the time in the house. Alright, let's see how this is going to turn out. Handful of muffins. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the oven. These only take a few minutes because they're little. The bigger ones take longer. All buttered up. <laughs> buttered up. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna put the muff the mix in the tins. And I hope they don't stick. I think we've got enough butter on there, but I'm more positive. Like I said, I will post under my video the uh, the recipe. I do. I will put you know who I got the recipe from. I don't want to copyright, but it's she gives the best recipes, and I and most of my snacks I make are from her because she makes the healthy alternatives. That's what. Has, struck me like I love to find recipes about healthy alternatives because everybody loves the comfort food and the foods that may not be good for you but there are recipes for a food that that is the same it may taste just a tad bit different but they are really really good I mean they're almost better better for you I have one sometime I will make it a video on the cheeseburger wraps. They're grilled cheeseburger wraps. They're so good. They taste so much like a McDonald's cheeseburger and they're healthy. I don't know how that happens, but that was amazing to me how something healthy could taste as good as a bad thing like McDonald's cheeseburgers. <clears throat> Here's my second pan of muffins. These are the bigger pans so that take longer to cook. Mama, is that No, I'm making muffins. Mama, what type of muffins? Pumpkin muffins. Pumpkin muffins? Yeah. She eat it. I don't I wear it. orange. Okay. As you hear, one of my kids loves pumpkin muffins. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, look at look at the camera. Say I love pumpkin muffins. I love pumpkin muffins. <laughs> mm. I'm all do that. It's still yeah. going, buddy. I love pumpkin muffins. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love pumpkin muffins. I love pumpkin muffins. Yeah, you can't wait for them to come out and eat them. Yeah, I love pumpkin muffins, Mama. <laughs> And here are the little pumpkins. Mom, what is palette. she? What is she? Oh, she. Oh, I'm Don't put it in my And thank you for watching. I'll post on the bottom. Have a great day. Check out my blog for more information.